Hey YouTube, doing a video here of the barbecue chicken from Tastink. This is uh, what it is here on the packet. 280 calories. Don't know if that's good or bad. I never really check that sort of stuff out. It's only when I'm watching BHFCs, he's always going on about it. But um, looking at that, looks quite nice. Don't like the look of that. Thank God, when you flick it around, you don't get that. It's basically just the bun, the fillet, and somewhere in there is a sauce. I think you can just see it there. So that, that that's all you get. And I think from his video, he was saying you can get this from Morrison for a pound or similar. The one I think he did was the flaming chicken with mayo, which... I would have not have bought but barbecue you guys know I like uh, barbecue so perfect burger uh, the only the only thing when you're looking at it I mean it doesn't advertise you get it so but it's uh, no cheese and on his one you've got cheese so I don't know why you don't get cheese in this not sure it's not a problem you can add your own same with the uh, the one they sent me last time, the chicken and chorizo. I didn't really think about it at the time because I thought it was really really nice. But uh, when I gave when I said that I'll give it to Jay, my mate, he was like, oh, "That's missing cheese. You could do do some cheese on that." Yeah, one to get free food, and he moans about not getting a slice of cheese on it. But he had a point. You know, these things should always come with cheese standard. You know, rustlers are, you know, they're, they're all the same. I mean, I've had rustlers where you don't get the cheese on it. and So, you know, not much of a big deal. You can, you, you've got your own cheese. It's only if you're at work and you get caught out. But if you're at home, you usually got a slice of cheese you can put in these things. So, anyway, you've seen what it looks like. So, let's have a look. And there you go. Checking it out there. And you can see... I've added a bit of cheese because I'm not stressing about it. I thought, yeah, just whack a slice in there. So let's take the lid off, have a little look. And that's the chicken. I've added the sauce. And what I did, I sort of toasted this a bit. I haven't done it completely in the neat machine. And you can see the fit there. I really like it. it. Makes it look like it's been cooked proper. So yeah, it's not looking too bad. So what I'm going to do, next thing to do, is uh, do a bit of a test. So uh, I'll put you down, you know where you're going. See how uh, Sylvester's getting on. I'll well, take a bite. Yeah, that is alright. I like that. You know, I mean, when you're comparing this to the rustlers, all the other ones out there, you know, I'm not going to list on about it. Um, you know, you can't fault that. If that's selling the Morrisons for a pound, snap it up. You can't argue with these things. When they're, when they're a pound, when you start going to garages and things like that, I'm not saying these people are in the garages, and that. But when you, you do see Rustler Burgers like for £2.80 in a garage, you think, oh my god, that's a rip-off. Total rip-off. But for a pound, really nice. The cheese really helps as well. I mean, I know I added that, but I highly recommend you, you always got to stick a slice of cheese in these things. 
the sauce is really nice and that, that came with its own barbecue sauce and that tastes good. Usually I'll add my own hot hot sauce, um, but that's fine. The sauce is good. The chicken tastes nice. The bun, I don't know if you can see the detail in that. It's quite a rough kind of bun, but yeah, that's good. It all all works works well together. And that is one tasty tasty burger. So I recommend that if you see that, yeah, give it a try. So uh, yeah, so that's the, the second part of the tasting food selection that they sent me. Uh, tastes alright. Would I buy it again? Honestly, I probably wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not a big chicken fan, but you know, the next one I'm really looking forward to, which is the cheeseburger, and that is the sort of thing I go for. But this, on the whole, if you're into the chicken, go for it. Might as well if it's a quid. Do it. Take it easy.